this video is about how to use this new stent the lila triple j stent which has been innovated with the intention of minimizing stent induced dysuria the concept of this stent is that typically you have been using this stent which has a lower coil this lower coil irritates the trigone of urinary bladder and bladder neck and causes storage symptoms when patient takes breathing in and out the lower coil moves further down towards the bladder neck and increases the symptoms in this new concept there is an additional j like band in the shaft or lower end of stent which shifts the lower coil away from the trigone when patient breathes in and out the lower coil does not go towards the bladder neck instead it goes towards the dome of the bladder now i'll show you how to play this stent with the help of cystoscopy using a transurethral technique first you pass a open handed ureter catheter inject contrast mix some gel with it jalocan gel to lubricate the ureter from inside the contrast which is injected in the ureter will help you to learn the anatomy of the ureter the coils of the ureter below the stone and will help you to navigate your wire uh, by the side of the stone once you have seen the anatomy properly pass the guide wire let it go by the side of the stone into the kidney and then over the wire once you pass the ureter catheter to detach the stone from the mucosa and then you withdraw out the ureter catheter now over the guide wire pass the dj stent now here you be careful that you take the upper renal end of the stent first and that is the end which should go towards the kidney right now once the stent is going in you watch the movement of stent in the fluoroscopy and let the upper end go in the renal pelvis park the upper end of the stent either in renal pelvis or in the superior calyx once the coil has taken shape as you will notice on removing the wire and uh, as you remove the wire from the lower part of the stent you will see that the third j which creates a bend in the shaft of the lower end will now move the lower coil of stent towards the dome of the urinary bladder instead of keeping this coil towards the trigone the coil will now go towards the dome now for this it is necessary that during your stent insertion the bladder is slightly full if you try to place the stent in empty bladder then you will find difficulty in locating the lower coil towards the dome you should advance this stent into the ureter up to this black mark as i'll show you later again at this point of time you can watch the effect of uh, respiratory movements on the movement of the stent the lower coil will still remain towards the dome it will not come towards the bladder neck that is how it avoids trigonal irritation bladder neck irritation and reduces stent dysuria so uh, what i was mentioning to you that when you advance the stent into the ureter how do you know where is the third j that there is a black mark in the stent the third j is located below this black mark right thick black mark so advance the stent into ureter only up to this thick black mark the rest of the stent will stay inside now i'll show you the percutaneous technique of putting the stent in the patient under nephroscopic vision advance the guide wire uh, through the puj down into the ureter take uh, 0.035 floppy tip guide wire usually this guide wire goes by the side of ureter catheter now at this stage i would recommend that you ask the scrub nurse to clamp the foley catheter and let the bladder be slightly full once the bladder is slightly full the coil of the wire takes nice shape you can advance sufficient amount of wire into the bladder lumen when the wire is placed remove the ureter catheter from uh, urethra and then over this guide wire advance the vesical end of this triple j stent vesical end means the one which is coiling like a, the the one i have shown you before 
so pass that stent into the puj and into the ureter you can watch the movement of stent under c arm you will watch the stent moving over the wire advance the wire in the bladder for about 5 to 6 cm more than the place where it is crossing the pubic symphysis that is how you know how much of the lower end to put in the bladder once that much of stent has gone in the bladder withdraw the wire and you will see that the lower end of stent is taking shape the third j is coiling the stent in a manner that the the coil gets directed towards the dome now park the upper end of stent in the inferior calyx watch the position of stent uh, fluoroscopically confirm the location of upper end and the shape of the lower end as seen here you can ask the patient to breathe in and out so if the patient's bladder is full then the this is the shape the stent will take